Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with Off the Board with Pineapple Papers where we pull a pin off Pinterest and use it for inspiration. And I am going to use this sketch by Creative Memories that I found on Pinterest um, as my inspiration. And originally I thought I would stick really close and all the elements are there. They're just going to be rearranged. <laughs> So I'm going to use Scenic Route by uh, Echo Park. I am trying to use up the majority of my Echo Park collections. So you may be seeing this some off and on through June. I have two packs of ephemera, the sticker sheet, and of course the collection of papers. And then these scraps over here. So I have my papers, my embellishments and scraps. These two pictures of my son pumping gas and this sketch from Pinterest. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I'm looking for a page that will um, coordinate and work with what my brain is trying to talk me into. <laughs> I was going through my scraps trying to find the perfect thing to use for all those little strippy bits at the bottom and it just dawned on me that that is exactly what I'm looking at right here at this cover page. And so then I was trying to figure out if I just wanted to make the stripey bits shorter or if I wanted to try and get creative and do something a little different. So what I did was fussy cut the top portion, including the title. Now, sometimes with these Echo Park and Cartabella collections, it has like Echo Park or Cartabella or whatever in that little section where the title of the this collection the collection is but this time it did not be it was not the case and so I decided to fussy cut all the way around and just use that scenic route as my title and I actually really love the way it turned out this is a super simple layout it took me less than 30 minutes maybe right at 30 minutes um, and really I mean there's not a lot of stuff getting used up in the aspect of paper but I still am very happy with the way that it turned out uh, something super simple for this pretty simple just kind of everyday um, layout because the pictures are my son pumping gas at a speedway um, after I think it was his birthday dinner at my sister's house back in March and I just took a picture of him in the rear within the side mirror as he was waiting for the gas and um when he was done like getting ready to put it back up on the um the machine and so I just thought that these were you know kind of cute because it was his first time uh really pumping the gas and I was giving him the details like I gave him my credit card and my speedway card and told him which you know how to do things and so he felt very proud of himself for helping his mother and I hate pumping gas so it was a win-win for me but I did want to document the moment and I don't know if it'll go in my chronological book or if it'll go in his book but I felt like this was a moment that I wanted to at least document one way or another and this collection fit perfectly because it had the banner that's in this sketch now the banner is up at the top which is where i'm gonna put it but because i kind of flip-flopped everything it really kind of should have gone down at the bottom but um i didn't think it would work down there because it's a little big so um and because it's banners hanging down the way that it is if i had put it at the bottom it would have looked weird with like the v coming up and not going down so I go ahead and put it down on that really busy paper. I am going to come in later with a black pen and trace around it so it stands out a little bit better because it's kind of disappearing into those two stripes that are lighter. Um, but the inking around it helps um, it stand out a little bit more. Um, and then I just pull a couple of uh, the ephemera bits out of here, a tag and um, a couple of little pieces that have wordy bits on it which is pretty much everything in an echo park collection um so being able to use three of the little wordy bits um that worked for me 
I was fine with that. Uh, so it just says adventure. One says, let's go and discover new places, which could totally be the title. And one says, life is a grand adventure. Let's go out and live. And so I liked that. And then I went ahead and added that um, van on there. I know there's already a car up at the, um, you know, the title in the middle. But I felt like, it, you know, adding that van was just a little something extra. There's really not a lot on this layout. It was... Um, the back of the packaging, like this cover page, is actually a layout, or I mean a pattern paper, and that is actually what I use to map my two pictures. So now I just have this little like three by three square left of that paper, which is fine by me. And I wanted to use up more of the stickers, but really the wordy bits, there was enough wordy bit on here, and there wasn't a whole lot. So I did pull a round sticker that's I like the a globe and I put that down over the top of that tag hole um, over the adventure uh, where the globe is and I put that there so it would cover the tag hole and here I am I'm gonna um, ink around that uh, banner up at the top and so then the only other thing I'm gonna do is bring in my enamel accents by Ranger um, and the ones that I use for this is the white um, glacier white and it kind of um because the paper i'm using is off white i was a little concerned about using the white but it because it's going on that red i think that it's going to help it um not be so stark white so i'm just make three clusters on the just in little air in three different places of the little dots i love these I've used them a lot lately. I have white and I have black and they um, are really easy to work with and easy to use. So I've been using them because the white one was starting to get yucky and I don't want to lose, you know, I don't want to waste. So I'm, my, I'm determined, y'all. So there was the sketch again from Creative Memories on Pinterest. And here is my layout again. Like I said, super simple, 30 minutes. Sometimes that's what you need. I am getting ready to start my June layouts, and I wanted to um, get to those, but I also wanted to do my off-the-board pineapple papers. So, I hope you go down below to the people who are hopping along with Crystal Barrett and pineapple papers and off-the-board, and see if you can find some inspiration as well, and I encourage you to go check out your Pinterest boards and try and use them for your encouragement. Have a great day, and happy scrapping!